Chapter 12, page 107, Vocabulary Preview. 1. Happy. 2. Sad. 3. Hungry. 4. Thirsty. 5. Hot. 6. Cold. 7. Tired. 8. Sick. 9. Angry. 10. Nervous. 11. Scared. 12. Embarrassed. 108. I always cry when I'm sad. Listen to the first model. Why are you crying? I'm crying because I'm sad. I always cry when I'm sad. Listen to the second model. Why is she smiling? She's smiling because she's happy. She always smiles when she's happy. Do exercises 1 through 10. You will hear the correct line after you speak. We'll begin. 1. Why are you shouting? 2. I'm shouting because I'm angry. I always shout when I'm angry. Two. Why is he biting his nails? He's biting his nails because he's nervous. He always bites his nails when he's nervous. Three. Why is the bird drinking? It's drinking because it's thirsty. It always drinks when it's thirsty. 4. Why are they shivering? They're shivering because they're cold. They always shiver when they're cold. 5. Why are they going to Stanley's restaurant? They're going to Stanley's restaurant because they're hungry. They always go to Stanley's restaurant when they're hungry. 6. Why is she going to the doctor? She's going to the doctor because she's sick. She always goes to the doctor when she's sick. 7. Why are you perspiring? I'm perspiring because I'm hot. I always perspire when I'm hot. Eight. Why is he blushing? He's blushing because he's embarrassed. He always blushes when he's embarrassed.
Nine. Why is she yawning? She's yawning because she's tired. She always yawns when she's tired. Ten. Why is he covering his eyes? He's covering his eyes because he's scared. He always covers his eyes when he's scared. Page 110. I'm washing the dishes in the bathtub. Listen to the model. What are you doing? I'm washing the dishes in the bathtub. That's strange. Do you usually wash the dishes in the bathtub? No, I never wash the dishes in the bathtub. But I'm washing the dishes in the bathtub today. Why are you doing that? Because my sink is broken. I'm sorry to hear that. Do exercises one through five. You will hear the correct line after you speak. One. We'll begin. What are you doing? I'm sleeping on the floor. That's strange. Do you usually sleep on the floor? No, I never sleep on the floor, but I'm sleeping on the floor today. Why are you doing that? Because my bed is broken. I'm sorry to hear that. Two. We'll begin. What are you doing? I'm studying with a flashlight. That's strange. Do you usually study with a flashlight? No, I never study with a flashlight. But I'm studying with a flashlight today. Why are you doing that? Because my lamp is broken. I'm sorry to hear that. Three. We'll begin. What are you doing? I'm walking to work. That's strange. Do you usually walk to work? No, I never walk to work, but I'm walking to work today. Why are you doing that? Because my car is broken. I'm sorry to hear that. Four. You begin. What are you doing? I'm using a typewriter. That's strange. Do you usually use a typewriter? No, I never use a typewriter, but I'm using a typewriter today. Why are you doing that? Because my computer is broken. I'm sorry to hear that. Five. You begin.
What are you doing? I'm sweeping the carpet. That's strange. Do you usually sweep the carpet? No, I never sweep the carpet, but I'm sweeping the carpet today. Why are you doing that? Because my vacuum is broken. I'm sorry to hear that. Page 111. How to say it? Reacting to bad news. Listen. My sink is broken. I'm sorry to hear that. Listen again. My sink is broken. That's too bad. Listen again. My sink is broken. What a shame. Page 112. A bad day at the office. Listen. Mr. Blaine is the president of the Acme Internet Company. The company has a staff of energetic employees. Unfortunately, all of the employees are out today. Nobody is there. As a result, Mr. Blaine is doing everybody's job, and he's having a very bad day at the office. He's answering the telephone because the receptionist who usually answers it is at the dentist's office. He's typing letters because the secretary who usually types them is at home in bed with the flu. He's sorting the mail because the office assistant who usually sorts it is on vacation. And he's even cleaning the office because the custodian who usually cleans it is on strike. Poor Mr. Blaine. It's a very busy day at the Acme Internet Company and nobody is there to help him. He's having a very bad day at the office. Page 112. Listening. Listen and choose the correct answer. 1. What are you doing? 2. What does the office assistant do? 3. What's the receptionist doing? 4. Is he tired? 5. What do you do when you're scared? Six. Where do you usually study? Page 113. Early Monday morning in Centerville. Listen. Early Monday morning is usually a very busy time in Centerville. Men and women usually rush to their jobs. Some people walk to work, some people drive, and others take the bus. Children usually go to school. Some children walk to school. Some children take the school bus. And others ride their bicycles. The city is usually very busy. Trucks deliver food to supermarkets. Mail carriers deliver mail to homes and businesses. And police officers direct traffic at every corner. Yes, early Monday morning is usually a very busy time in Centerville.
Page 114. Pronunciation. Reduced to. Listen. Then say it. I'm sorry to hear that. We go to school. He listens to the radio. Mail carriers deliver mail to homes. Say it. Then listen. I'm happy to hear that. They're going to the doctor. She listens to music. Trucks deliver food to supermarkets. End of chapter 12. Page 115. Side by Side Gazette. Traffic. A global problem. Traffic is a big problem in many cities around the world. Traffic is especially bad during rush hour, the time when people go to work or school and the time when they go home. Many people take buses, subways, or trains to work, but many other people drive their cars. As a result, the streets are very busy and traffic is very bad. Many cities are trying to solve their traffic problems. Some cities are building more roads. Other cities are expanding their bus and subway systems. Many cities are trying to reduce the number of cars on their roads. Some highways have carpool lanes special lanes for cars with two, three, or more people. In some cities, people drive their cars only on certain days of the week. For example, in Athens, people with license plate numbers ending in 0 through 4 drive on some days, and people with numbers ending in 5 through 9 drive on other days. Every day around the world, more and more people drive to and from work in more and more cars. As a result, traffic is a global problem. Page 115. Listening. And now, here's today's news. Listen to these news reports. Match the news and the city. You're listening to WBOS in Boston. And now, here's Randy Ryan with today's news. Good morning. Well, the people in Boston who usually take the subway to work aren't taking it today. There's a big problem with the subway system in Boston. <laughs> You're listening to KSAC in Sacramento. And now, here's Jessica Chen with the morning news. Good morning. The big news here in Sacramento is the traffic. Sacramento police officers are on strike today, and nobody is directing traffic. There are traffic problems all around the city. This is WCHI in Chicago. And now, here's Mike Maxwell with today's news. Good morning. It's snowing very hard in Chicago right now. As a result, the streets of the city are empty. People aren't walking or driving to work. There aren't any trucks or buses on the street. And mail carriers aren't delivering the mail. 
You're listening to CTOR in Toronto. And now, here's Mark Mitchell with today's news. It's a quiet Tuesday morning in Toronto. There aren't any bad traffic problems right now. And there aren't any problems with the subway system or the buses. You're listening to WMIA in Miami. And now, here's today's news. Good morning. This is Rita Rodriguez with the news. The children of Miami who usually take school buses to school aren't taking them this morning. The men and women who drive the school buses are on strike. Some children are walking to school today. Many students are staying home. Page 115. Build your vocabulary. How do you get to work? I walk. I drive. I take the bus. I take the train. I take the subway. I take a taxi. I ride a bicycle. I ride a motor scooter. I ride a motorcycle. Page 116. Around the world. Getting places. People around the world go to work or school in many different ways. Some people take the subway. Some people ride a bicycle. Some people ride a motor scooter. Some people even rollerblade. How do people go to work or school in different countries you know? Page 116. Global Exchange. I live in a small apartment in the center of our city. I have a brother and two sisters. My brother's name is Kevin, and my sister's names are Emily and Melissa. Our family has a dog and a bird. Our dog's name is Buster, and our bird's name is Lulu. I'm tall, and I have brown eyes. My hair is short and curly. It's usually black, but this week it's red. How about you? Where do you live? Do you have brothers or sisters? What are their names? Do you have a dog or a cat or another pet? What do you look like? 